good afternoon, lovely people. It's not a bad afternoon. The sun has come out and gone away and come out. So I thought, i better come out. And we are at, as you can probably tell, we're just there, Kingsgate Bay. Uh, when did I come here last? Before Christmas. Just before I completed my target, I came here. Uh, behind me, I had loads of Portuguese coins. Uh, and there was a fair bit of English spendable clad money. Uh, I had two rings, I think. Was it two? Definitely one. Up there. Um, but today, I'm going to spin you around in a minute and I'll show you the beach. Last time we were here, there was... Um, it had been cut out into a step. This time, there's just a massive gradient to the beach. And we've had some strong winds and it's churned it up. And it is a huge slope on this beach, so... I am 99.9% .9 sure we're going to find something. It's going to be better than last time I went out, because, uh, I don't know, just, just looking at the beach you get that gut feeling. I've got the knocks, as you can tell. Uh, other than that, not a lot else to tell you. I'll see you on the first hole. Right, first diggable decent target with the knocks on Kingsgate Beach, and that was a Good old hole, that. Let's look at my pinpointer in there. And then we've got, yeah, I thought so. Well, if you go back a few videos, I found a load of Escudos Portuguese coins, and I've just caught that Portuguese or whatever it was. Yeah, it's another one of them. We'll clean that up in a bit, and we'll see what the value is. I don't think they're in circulation now, but the coins are coin. And next for your viewing pleasure, everybody's favourite. A crusty penny. Sketchy these, these they come as iron and then they flick over to a, a decent sounding noise. But I find if you pass it over really slow, sometimes have the recovery on sort of four. Depends how trashy the area is anyway. Mine's on three. Um you'll you'll end up digging it because it will sound okay in the end. There you go, one crusty penny. Didn't need my pinpointer for this one, just the pinpointer on the machine. There you go. That's looking nice and green. Oh, it's not a pound. I thought it was going to be a pound. It's another one of these. Foreign coins. A hundred escudos. Sounds good, but it's probably only worth about 10p. Oh, not worth anything now, I don't think, as they're not in circulation. Yeah, still a nice looking coin though. I'll give them that. Right. Let's get some this one was a bit deeper than the last one. That last foreign coin was there. One right next door, and it's another one. Is that a hundred? Yes. Give that a wipe. Another hundred. Oh, I'm going to be rich. Look at that. Here's an example. If you look at the screen, we've got a minus five there. A bit of iron. And then it jumps. But it registers them both. I don't, you won't better hear it. I can. So what we're going to do, we dig that target, and we dig that target. The recovery is superb. Right, let's have a look. That's what you had in the hole. That was the iron signal, and that was the scratchy but alright signal. Didn't help it was an iron penny, but there you go, a recovery. I was hunting in all metal, that's why. You could see the minus numbers, otherwise I might discriminate that out, but that's down to personal preference, but cool, yeah, there you go. A this one was a double dinger. That rusty mess there, that was that penny. Which, uh, yeah, they're not doing too well in this sand. And uh, I had a green coin, I thought it was a bit of the four on one, but it's not. It's a 2p, I don't know if that's good or bad. So there you go, two in one. Uh, I'm not gonna go up close, because it's not very nice looking, but that there, that's a, that's a poor little seal. So I'm going to have to notify the, uh, oh I can't remember, I have to notify now, I'll get the phone number and then they come and remove that poor thing. Yeah, I'm not going to go any closer. Oh well, right, I'm going to carry on along the, the water line. Right, I've just had another penny, but I'm going to stop filming the pennies, or at least cut them out of the video. And we've got a bit of bling, some sort of brooch, encrusted with obviously pink diamonds. Uh, yeah, very fetching. Let's carry on. I had a signal that was reading at 22, and I really thought it was a pound coin, but it didn't. It turned out to be that at great depth in there. But just off to the side, just checking the area, we have a coin. 
It's not a toupee, which I thought it was. I think it's another one of these Portuguese ones. Uh, yep. It's not a toupee. No, that side is uh, weird and wonderful. We'll give them a little clean at the end and we'll see what we can make out. Well, sooner or later, it had to happen. 20 pence. Cool, right, that's a bit better. Something I can actually spend and not have to scrub the rust off. Right, and next up we have five, if it will focus, five escudos. There's a trend, there's definitely a pattern going on on this beach again. I'm not complaining, it's better than finding rubbish. Another one. 100 escudos. I'm sure they are some sort of, they probably look like a pound coin when they're shiny in reverse. But, uh, hmm, another one. Hmm, at what point do you guys not want to see any more foreign coins? There's another one. Uh, they, yeah, they read in at 16, these ones. The other ones read in at 20, like a pound coin almost. Still, I don't know what these students were doing down here, just throwing money everywhere. Well, I've broken the habit, I haven't found a car today. But I have found a plane. Not my first plane ever. Blimey, that's been down here a long time. There's not a lot left on there. But there you go, yeah. One plane. Well, I'm just on fire today. That's another coin. Here's another foreign one. Ah, that was going to be a silver one when, uh, when we get that green off of it. Uh, is it a 50? I can't remember. It's a bigger one anyway. That's what we're going to go with. A bigger coin. Well, it seems to be this year's number one. For me anyway. As you can clearly guess. It's a dog tag. I've had five or six of these this year already. Oh well, keep someone in business anyway. Alright, I've come right out. There's the beach where I was. I've come right out close to the tide. Now look, another one. Not to turn it over because there's a clearly visible phone number. Another one, never mind. Right, I've got about an hour left. Oh, it's a race against time now, half hour. And we've got a 20. It does pay to overlap your um, passes of the beach. I always do it really tight. And uh, yeah, it pays off, because you... Uh, I narrowly missed this in my last pass, so just shows something that. In there, we do have a little musical pin badge. Uh, copper. But yeah, that was probably pretty cool, and it was uh, worn, I guess. Time again. Roundup time. Uh, I picked up some sea coal. I didn't show you. Um, last year I pick it up, and it's just like the money. It all amounts. At the end of the year, you get a bag of coal, and this is because it's um, probably off the boats. It burns a lot. It does burn a lot hotter. I have noticed. I chucked it in my burner over over the winter, and it burns a lot longer and a lot hotter. It's just a if you ever want to know. But onto the good stuff. Well, semi good stuff. We've got, what's that, five, six, seven pence in pennies, 40p, two twenties, two twos, two dog tags, a bullet and a badge. Oh, there is that funny little brooch thing somewhere in my bag. I can find it. I'll dig it out. But, and the Portuguese money, they're fives, they're tens, they're twenties, and they're hundreds. So what's that? That's 300, 40, 60, 75. 375 escudos and a plane. Cool. I've had fun actually. It's been two and three quarter hours. I've got to leg it back now. And uh, I might come back down here depending if the weather changes. If it gets rough again, I'll come back. If not, we'll head somewhere else. But yeah, that was worth coming down for. Okay, I might have something interesting to show you in the next video, but you'll have to wait for that one. Until then, I'll see you soon.